In this video we're looking at how to recreate the old classic gapped handout. So when I started teaching, as a way of checking learners understood uh, the components in an in a, in a object or topic they were working in, you'd often give them the gapped handout which they filled in and labelled the various components. Well, in this video we're going to look at how we can recreate such a thing using Google Forms. So first off we're going to find the thing that we want to label. So let's search. I've done a search for the respiratory system, which is usually quite a popular one. Now you can see there's a number of different examples. Um, in an ideal world, you're looking for something that is got a Creative Commons license, which means you can make use of it. But for the short demonstration, I'm going to use this one. But you'd obviously need to make sure that it was Creative Commons uh, and that you were able to, to use it. So we can save that image. the desktop and then what we can do is we can then open an image editing package now my favorite one as those who've watched videos of me before will know is pixel R so we're going to open up pixel R uh, and I always go for the pixel R editor uh, open the image on the computer And then what I'm going to do is just remove the bits that I don't want. So I'm going to get a paint palette, choose white, uh, and just paint over those bits that I don't want. Now the great thing is I can save a copy of the image and that will be my answer sheet to show the learners at once they've done the exercise themselves. But you get the idea, I can delete those I can then save the image and then I'm going to go into my Google Drive and I'm going to create a new form. So we go File, New, More and Google Form. And this is where I struggle to spell respiratory. So we'll just go label. Label diagram. And then what I'm looking for is the add image function. So I click on the add image function. I choose my image. Imagine that this image has no labels on it at all. I've left some of them on for, for speed. I could label that. but I'll just call it lungs for the moment. Um, now, there's a problem. At the moment, we haven't got each component listed. So if we just step back to the pixel art, we can just very quickly add, using the text function, the letter A. and the letter B, and so on and so forth. So we'll just add those in, and we'll save that again. And then we'll go back to our form, we'll delete that one, and we'll re-add the one with the label. upload. So now we've got our labels there. I know it's the respiratory system but I'm gonna just leave it as lungs for the moment. So we've got our image in place. We can move our image to just under the title there and then underneath we're gonna change the question type to be short answer and we 
like it's a required question and so on and so forth. We can then just duplicate those that question, change it to B, and oh, you see the pattern. And then all the learners do is you then share that with the learners. I'll just show you what the finished one looks like. Share that with the learners. They come in, you give them the link on their phones, they go through, and each component they label. Uh, those of you familiar with Google Forms, as soon as you filled in the responses, they hit submit, you can view those responses. So we go back, I can go in and look at the responses either as a group or I can look individually to see who's responded to what. Now I could get them to put the name in there so we could add another question asking for their name so I could see who's responded. So they are a very quick way of creating a gapped handout using Google Forms. Uh, in good old blue fashion, Bupalita fashion for those of the watching in the UK. Here's one I've done with a camera. You can see I've found the picture of a camera, added the, the arrows and the labels, and then just got the short answer questions which students can respond to. So I hope you found that useful. Join me again next time. Bye for now.